Even with just one flash, your image can be so different depending on how it is aimed. In this video, I will explain that depending on how your flash is aimed, your image can be so different. Also, this video is an indoor daylight synchronization shoot, so it's a must see. Definitely give it a save. The background is a set with a large window. First, we shoot without a flash and we adjust exposure to the scenery outside the window with a brightness a bit above normal. The person will be dark because of the backlight from the window. This time, when we adjust exposure with the subject, the background becomes washed out and doesn't look good. Let's adjust exposure to the scenery outside the window once more. For indoor daylight synchronization with the window, the brightness outside the window is the first thing to be determined. And then, matching with that, you can decide the first brightness. This time, we adjust the shutter speed to 1 200 seconds, aperture f2.0, ISO 200. We are using the Godox AD200. First, Let's aim it directly at the subject. The light is hard and feels deliberately lit, which looks unnatural. Since it's a direct light, the color temperature is high and looks blue. This time, we try bouncing off the ceiling. The light is softer, but since the light is from above, the bottom of her face has shadows and it looks a bit strange. The color temperature is a little lower and looks good. Next, we create a diagonal light by bouncing off the right wall. It's a soft light and three-dimensional, but the shadows are dark. So we add a large white reflector board on the shadowed side. The shadows are brighter, and it looks much better. This would be fine, but to make it prettier, we'll create hair lights by bouncing the light high off the back right wall. The hair lights are nice, but her face is dark. So we will put large white reflectors surrounding the subject and bounce the light from left and right. The light is soft. There are hair lights, 
and there is a beautiful gradation from the shadows to the highlight. It looks very good. Next, we add a flash behind the subject and create backlit lighting. There's an edge light around the subject and this looks really good. It's key to place a reflector board in front of the subject. I want to see what will happen if we use a softbox. So we try a small round Godox parabolic softbox. We place the softbox close to the subject. The light is a bit hard, the contrast is high, and the shadows are dark. To make the shadows brighter, we place a reflector on the opposite side. It looks alright. This time, we use a large softbox called a Fortix Larger 150. And similarly, we place the softbox as close as possible to the subject. The light is softer, and it looks good. The key points for using indoor synchronization with the window is deciding the brightness of the lights outside the window, and then adding a flash and adjusting its brightness. The ways to apply and aim a flash vary. Even using one flash, you can get this kind of various images. I like the nicely balanced lighting that looks natural and that matches the background's brightness. Which do you like? <laughs>